If you use Windows 10, chances are you've seen the notification pop up to let you know that the Windows 10 Creators Update is on its way and to give you a chance to change your privacy settings or to go ahead and download it in some instances. Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. And today I'm going to show you how to disable this notification. Now, if you are okay with getting the newest version of the software, you don't do a lot of gaming or whatever like that, and you're not worried about compatibility issues or something, you can go ahead and let it just install on its own accord. But if you want to have a little bit more control over how Windows Creators Edition is actually installed on your system or delay it until it's officially released to the rest of the public, I'll show you how to do that. If you're using Windows 10 Professional Edition, it's really easy to do this. Just click on Start, click the little Settings cog, and then you're going to click on Update and Security, and then you're going to click where it says Advanced Options, and then you just check the box that says Defer Feature Updates. So what this does is it will defer upgrading to versions of Windows. You'll still get the cumulative updates, you'll still get security updates and Windows Defender updates. You'll still get all the important updates, but it will skip trying to download the newest version of Windows Creators Edition until you're ready to do it, and all you have to do is just uncheck it. But if you're using the home version of Windows 10, you don't have that same option. I'll show you what that means. If you go under your settings, update, click on advanced options, you'll see that the option to defer the update, like in the pro version of Windows 10, isn't there. You have to go about it doing it a different way. Now this one is a little bit more advanced, and I will warn you in advance uh, that you're going to be doing a little bit of registry editing. It's not really that hard, and it's not that scary. But all you have to do, the easiest way to do it is just click on the start button, and then type in reg edit, and you're going to see it pop up here. Click on it, it's gonna verify that you wanna run it, and you say yes. Now the very first thing I'm gonna have you do before you do anything else is to back up your registry. So all you have to do is just click on where it says H key local machine, so it's highlighted. Go to file, export, choose the place you want to actually name this, and you're good to go. You save it, and now you got a backup of your registry and you're good to go. Okay, once it's actually done saving the backup, then you're going to have to drill down a little bit. So you're still going to be under local machine. You're going to go where it says software and click the arrow so it expands it. Find where it says Microsoft and expand that. And then you're going to scroll all the way down to the W's near the very bottom of it. And you're going to see one that says Windows Update. Expand that one. And then you're going to see one that says UX. This is for user interface. Expand that one in the last folder here just says settings. So when you click on this, you're going to see a couple different things over here on the right hand side. So what you need to do is right over on here, right click, go new and choose D word. Just do a 32 bit one's fine. And you're going to name it hide MCT link proper case just like I did there. the H, the MCT and the L as capital and go ahead and enter to save it. Now all you have to do is just double click it and it's going to pop up with an option to change the value data here. Now if you want to disable the notification all you have to do is just turn it to a 1 and click OK. If you want to re-enable it all you have to do is go back into and either just delete this key or right click and delete it or edit it again and change it to a zero and then when you save it and that will re-enable it but by having it set as a one here this will disable that update notification from coming up on your system. Now you'll have to restart your computer for the registry hack to be able to take effect, but once it's rebooted then you'll stop seeing the update notification come along. And then so you can choose to update to the Creators Edition later on down the road when you want to. You can manually download it, or you can go back in and re-disable the settings like I showed you and let it update it on its own. But again, only do this if you are worried about compatibility issues with webcams or driver issues if you do a lot of gaming. Other than that, it's really not going to affect most people here, but I know a lot of people such as myself want to delay this for as long as possible just to make sure all the bugs are worked out before we get it. So if you're like me and you want to disable it, hopefully this helped you out. If you have any questions or concerns, you know, drop it in the comment section down below and I'll happily help you out as quick as I can. If you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thank you for your time, you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.